Hello, I'm Sunmi Kim. I'm a chemical researcher in Korea Research Institute of Chemical Technology. In today's presentation, I'd like to introduce high-strength materials that are as strong as commercial urethane and self-healing at body temperature by overcoming the limitations of self-healing materials with low mechanical properties. In our previous paper, we published the details of our development of transparent thermoplastic polyurethane and was capable of self-healing within 2 hours at room temperature. Although these TPUs show higher strength and toughness than similar self-healing materials, the strength of TPU typically used in real life is over 40 MPa. Therefore, it is noted that the strength of TPU is still far below that of commercial urethane. In the present study, we developed TPU consisting of carbonate-type polyols instead of usual ether-type polyols. This material is capable of self-healing at body temperature, with strength similar to that of commercial urethane. Why is there such a difference? Unlike ether types, carbonate polyols have a rigid backbone and strong inner chain interaction. So the ether type has a coil shape, and the carbonate has a helix shape. Under strain, the amorphous phase of CIPSS is transformed into a rigid metastable crystal where all the edge bones form. Between stretch chains to endure heavy loads, after removal of the stress, the metastable crystal returns to the amorphous phase, which is shape and strength fully recovered, and this elastomer is immediately available for self-healing. Interestingly, CIPSS exhibited significantly superior mechanical properties compared to other self-healing materials. The outstanding tensile property of CIPSS have little penalty on its self-healing efficiency. CIPSS films were cut in half, reattached, and then allowed to recover at 35 degrees Celsius for varying amounts of time. After 48 hours, the recovery CIPSS is as strong as commercial urethane. And another cut and resupplied film with a contact cut area was able to re readily lift the 10 kilograms of weight. Even after one minute of recovery at room temperature, a cut and resupplied film we was able to withstand manual drawing and twisting. The CIPSS at 400% elongation, it becomes translucent due to the formation of crystallites. Interestingly, the original strain and transparency of CIPSS are fully recovered upon unloading. Strain-induced crystallization upon loading is superficially incomparable with full recovery upon loading. The unusual strain-induced crystallization of CIPSS is strongly correlated with the reversible disorder toward the switching of the mechanoresponsive H bonding array. The FTIR spectrum of CIPSS shows four bonds associated with carbonyl groups in sterling mode. CIPSS has a relatively high degree of disorder with regard to its non crystalline hull segments and a high concentration of H bond free carbonyl groups. Uniaxial stretching in the dynamic state enhances the degree of H bond ordering leading to an increase in crystallinity and a decrease in a concentration carbonic groups that are not H-bonded, which is well represented by a 2D gradient FTR map. Accelerators can be used to trace the structure change that occurs as TPU transition from static to dynamic mode during stretching. CIPSS show the most noticeable change in its 1D wax spectrum when deformer at high strain which suggests that CIPSS undergoes a district structure conversion into a crystalline form. The strain recovery of CIPSS degraded when held for a prolonged time at 400% strain, which indicates that the metastable crystal structure is stabilized upon long-term extension due to more organized lateral stacking and edge bonding. The in vivo biocompatibility of CIPSS was evaluated this presents histopathological tissue images. The CIPSS film scored the lowest inflammatory intensity. In the preliminary experiments performed in this study, CIPSS showed favorable biocompatibility and did not elicit chronic or severe inflammation. In summary, the uniquely designed carbonate type macrodial based TPU developed in this study exhibited a tensile strength of 43 MPa with strong healing abilities. This carbonate-type TPU exhibited a strain-induced hardening and crystalline in dynamic mode due to a transformation toward the older mechanoresponsive edge bonded array, responsible for strong and tough properties observed in stretching state. Compared to commercial TPU, carbonate-type TPU has comparable properties, 
but also offers the advantage of being easy to synthesize and process. Therefore, it is expected to have various industrial applications, such as being used as electronic sensors and protective films for smartphones and automobiles.